Hey Dee, it's Kendall Jenner. Welcome to my house. Come on in. I moved into this house about a year and a half ago. I renovated it for a whole year. The overall vibe that I was going for was really peaceful. I wanted to feel super calm. You're kind of up in the mountains up here and surrounded by a lot of nature, so I also wanted to feel open and there's a lot of windows. Tommy and Kathleen Clements and Waldo Fernandez did an insane job and I'm so happy. They're my best friends in the whole world, so. Kind of the first thing when you walk in, I'm very proud of it, is my James Terrell. I have always wanted a James Terrell, so I was really excited when I got it. It's so peaceful and calming, and he actually makes these pieces to meditate in front of. It's actually called Scorpius, and I'm a Scorpio, so I hold it close to my heart. This is my, I guess, formal living room. I made sure there was no TVs in here. So we get into a lot of deep talks in here. We actually hang out in here more than I thought I would. I usually have the fire going, whether it's winter, summer, fall, spring, whatever it is. I wanted to keep the tones pretty minimal, kind of earthy, just because I love really colorful art. The Clements are so good at adding these little pieces that just make you feel really cozy, but also just are super chic. When they brought these flower pillows, I was like, oh my God, I need these. They make it feel really good in here. These wooden beads add a really nice touch and then I have this really cool 1965 radio phonographo I just got it for Christmas I'm super excited about it I went to the record shop with my friends we got a bunch of stuff I need to pop into it this is my bar area you always need a good bar my mom is notorious for having the best bars, just like really beautiful, really set up pretty well. So I feel like this is a really special place. I've kind of let loose in this house a little bit more. Like I've thrown some birthday parties here, so we've had good times. Right off the bar is just a really nice kind of dark moody powder room. This though is this massive stone sink that I was like dying for. And it's about 300 pounds. And the guy who did my house basically said it was the hardest part of the entire house was putting this in. They had to like try a million times because they had to like restructure the walls behind it and stuff. So this guy is probably never leaving this house. <laughs> this is my office area. I hang in here with the people I work with a lot of the time. I don't personally use it a lot, but my girls do. And connected to my office is this really nice walkway. It's actually one of my favorite parts of the house just because of the amount of light that comes into it. It connects to my nice little courtyard out here, which is also one of my favorite places in the whole house. Then you kind of lead into this room, which I have now created into an art studio. This was a movie theater for like the first year that I lived here, but I had an idea. I was really stressed out. I was working a lot and me and my friends used to just go in the backyard and paint. I was like, I do that all the time and I don't really use this room as a theater so much. So I converted it and I love it. I was here last night. So like there's still stuff set up for me just last night painting. I'm not good at painting, but I thoroughly enjoy it and I, consider it a form of therapy. So I love coming in here and just vibing out and making really horrible things. But it honestly lets a lot out of me. And my friends and I come in here, sometimes we'll throw on basketball on the screen, drink some wine and like just paint or color or whatever. We're like really, we're really nerdy, but it's cool. I have all these little jumpsuits. There's literally six of them just for anyone who comes in here. So you don't have to get dirty or you can get dirty and not worry about it. One has my name on it. My assistant's got this for me for my birthday or for Christmas, I don't remember. I think Christmas. Also, these are made from canvas. So I think one day I'm gonna take these, I'm just gonna paint over them. Everything in here is made to become a mess. This is my dining room, which I love. There's a lot of woods in here. We kind of did this double rug thing, which I thought was really cool and it warms up the room a lot. Me and my friends come in here actually more than I thought I would. And I try and use it as much as I can just cause it is a nice way to like talk to each other. Sometimes we find ourselves eating in the family room and just watching TV and not speaking to each other. So we come in here a good amount. I love this room so much. We open the doors, especially when it's nice out, which is almost always cause we're in LA. I found this table right when I bought the house and the chairs, I think I always liked the idea of mix and matching chairs and kind of adds a nice depth to the room. My kitchen, this is most definitely the most used room in the house. We are in here almost every single day and night. I make dinner with my friends most of the time. And I never knew that a certain kitchen could make you want to cook so much. Because my last house I never cooked. And then I got here and this kitchen just like makes me want to cook. 
and bake. I think I saw a photo of dark forest green cabinets with a really nice marble. I kind of used that as inspo and made this kitchen. I had a really white, just like simple stale kitchen in my last house, which are very beautiful, but I just, I kind of wanted to warm it up and I thought it went so well with this house. I have all these really cool faucets and they kind of recommend that you don't clean them a lot so that they kind of start to age. It kept that farmy-ish vibe that I have going on. Oh yeah, my pot filler. I use this every day. When I was building the house, they were like, do you want a pot filler? And I was like, no, I don't need a pot filler. I use it every day because I'm a tea addict. So it's perfect. This is my TV room, family room, whatever you want to call it. I have, you know, my really nice cloud couch. I feel like everyone has a cloud couch, but they really are the best. I redid it into this kind of a little bit rougher of a fabric just to kind of go with my house a little bit more. We watch games, we watch The Bachelor, we chill out, and then these doors all open really nicely and we go hang out up there. It's a nice little entertaining area. It's just nice to get fresh air. And like I said, I live in LA, so it's always sunny and it's just the best. So down here, technically these are two bedrooms, but I needed the space, so I kind of made these into like a fitting room, which I also kind of call my Hannah Montana room, and my glam room, so I'll take you into the fitting room. It's always kind of a mess. This is where I do all my fittings and kind of throw clothes in here. This is where I pack for long trips or trips at all. Even if it is a little bit cluttered in here or a little bit of a mess, I know where everything is. This is my glam room. Also a very used room in my house. Everyone in my family has a good glam room. There's a really nice door so my glam people can come in and out really easily and not have to walk through the whole house. And this wall of magazines is something that Kim started a long time ago. We all kind of copied her and so I'll give her full credit for this idea, but we all have these walls in our house. It makes you feel good about stuff, you know? In the hallway on the way to my room, you have these two Barbara Krugers. I bought them a few years ago at Art Basel. They were actually my first probably really big piece of art that I ever bought, and this wall was just so perfect for them. I like really just colorful stuff that makes you feel good. And then, this is my master. There's this first little sitting area when you walk in. I usually come in here and meditate, chill out, zone out. Behind me is my Tracy Emin. I got this a few years ago, and I'm almost positive that there's measurements up top, and then the bottom says, glad to hear you're a happy girl. I'm pretty sure that the measurements are an ex-boyfriend of Tracy Emin's penis size. And then the message at the bottom is to his new girlfriend, saying, I'm glad to hear you're happy because he has a really big penis, I believe. <laughs> these are really old doors from Italy, and my mom had these in every single house that she owned that I grew up in. When I bought this house, she was like, I saved those doors. I think they'll be perfect for your house. I think they would fit awesome. So I ended up finding a place for them. Little memories all over the house that you probably, they kind of go unnoticed, but they mean a lot to me. This is my massive bed. I love it so much. Probably the most comfortable thing of all time. It's nine feet by eight and a half feet, I believe, to give you a visual of how big it is. <laughs> I have these copper energy rings. Everybody always asks me what these are. Not exactly sure what they're supposed to be good for, but someone told me to get them. I have them hidden all over my bedroom. There's one on each lamp up here. You're supposed to put them around your water. So I have these like little water thingies and I put my copper energy ring around them. I don't know, I feel good around them. So <laughs> I'm assuming they're doing something. This is my double-sided fireplace and my massive TV, which I didn't really think through. So at nighttime when it's on, it's just really bright because it's so big. And then obviously you need a tea stand because I am highly addicted to tea. So I have this little tea area, really exciting. This is my master bathroom. This might be one of the most structurally renovated parts of the whole house. This shower was less than half the size. I raised the ceilings, I made this all glass so it felt more open. I found this really beautiful stone and it was called Gabbana. And my dog's name was Gabbana and she had just passed away like a week prior. It felt like I was, you know, supposed to have it. And it has that green tone in it, kind of connecting all the greens around the house, the earthy tones that I love. I get a lot of love for my gold tub. I'd say at least three times a week I'm in this tub. It's my favorite ever. And then this is my closet. I don't think I've ever had a closet this big, so I was really stoked about it. Fun fact, I purge my closet at least every two months. I try and go through it, 
clean it all out and it is one of my favorite things to do ever. I feel like a newborn baby every time I do it. But I won't take complete credit for all of the organization. I had an amazing woman come in, her name's Mary. She's a dream come true and a really great gift for people. Off my master is my backyard. The whole house is pretty much a U-shape, so every room almost connects to the backyard. Surrounded by a lot of nature, as you could probably hear, which I love. It makes me feel super out of LA. We hang out here so much. I just got all these vintage quilts, so I'll just lay them all out on the grass, and me and my friends will come out here and just chill, meditate. I did a sound bath out here the other day. It was really so nice. I'm pretty sure this is the same pool that was here when the house was built in the late 80s, early 90s. It's not your typical modern square-shaped pool. I just loved how awkward it was. Thank you, AD, so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed the tour of my house. But it is sadly time for the rest to go.